Welcome to a new episode of Discover Daily, the AI-generated podcast curated by Perplexity to satisfy your curiosity about the latest in tech, science, and culture. I'm your host, Alex, and in today's episode, we'll explore a range of fascinating topics, from Elon Musk's AI venture, XAI securing substantial funding, to the Internet Archive weathering a DDoS attack. We'll also look into the surprising counting abilities of crows and a new rule of biology that challenges our understanding of stability in living systems. So let's jump right in. Elon Musk's artificial intelligence company, XAI, has successfully raised an impressive $6 billion in its Series B funding round. This funding will support the company's efforts to bring its initial products to market, build advanced infrastructure, and accelerate research and development of future technologies. The round saw participation from notable investors like Andreessen Horowitz, Sequoia Capital, and Fidelity Management and Research Company, valuing XAI at $18 billion prior to the new capital infusion, with some reports suggesting a post-money valuation of $24 billion. XAI, founded by Musk last summer, has already launched Grok, an AI chatbot available to ex-premium subscribers. The company plans to use the new funds to further develop its AI capabilities, including the construction of a supercomputer to power an upgraded version of Grok. This move positions XAI to compete more effectively with industry giants like OpenAI, Google, and Microsoft. Despite the competition, Musk remains optimistic about XAI's potential to catch up with its rivals by the end of the year. Moving on to a different kind of challenge, the Internet Archive, a non-profit digital library that preserves historical web content, was hit by a distributed denial-of-service DDoS attack on May 27, 2024. The attack caused most of the Internet Archive's services, including its homepage, to become temporarily unavailable. While the attack disrupted access to the Archive's services, the organization confirmed that the stored data remained unaffected. After about an hour of recovery efforts, Administrator Brewster Cayley announced that service had been restored following a battle with the attackers and some adjustments made by the Internet Archive team. The motives behind the DDoS attack remain unclear, but on social media, the attack was criticized, with one user likening it to setting fire to a library. Another user pointed out the low cost of executing DDoS attacks, suggesting that attempting to analyze the motives or suspects would likely be futile given the ease of launching such an attack. In the realm of animal cognition, recent studies have revealed that crows possess the remarkable ability to count using vocalizations, a skill previously thought to be exclusive to humans. A study led by neuroscientist Diana Liao demonstrated that crows can produce a specific number of vocalizations in response to numerical cues, ranging from one to four. The accuracy of their responses was notable, with errors typically being close to the target number, suggesting a sophisticated level of numerical understanding and vocal control. The study found that crows' counting abilities resemble those of human toddlers, who often count based on vocalizations before fully understanding the concept of numbers. This parallel suggests that crows might use a similar cognitive process to approximate numbers. The findings also suggest that crows, and potentially other birds, might engage in more complex communication than previously understood, challenging previous assumptions about animal cognition and numerical abilities. Finally, let's explore a new rule of biology proposed by John Tower, a molecular biologist at the University of Southern California. Tower's concept of selectively advantageous instability, SAI, challenges the traditional view that stability is always preferable in biological systems. 
He argues that some level of instability in biological components, such as proteins and genetic material, is essential for life, allowing for genetic diversity within cell populations and promoting adaptability to changing environments. However, SAI also has a downside. The process of creating and replacing unstable components consumes energy and resources, which can lead to cellular wear and tear over time, potentially contributing to aging. Tower's rule suggests that instability is not merely a byproduct of biological processes, but a crucial element that drives evolution, adaptability, and even aging. This new perspective on the dynamic nature of life could have far-reaching implications for fields ranging from synthetic biology to the study of aging and disease. And that wraps up today's episode of Discover Daily. We hope you found these stories as captivating as we did. If you want to learn more about any of the topics we covered, be sure to check out the episode description for links to the original articles. Don't forget to subscribe to Discover Daily on your favorite podcast platform to stay up to date with the latest in tech, science, and culture. You can also download the Perplexity app on Android or iOS. Until next time, stay curious.